Thank you, Blake. Tonight, the 911 call between or Brandon Ortiz Vite and a dispatcher made two days after the death of Ruby Garcia. He was found at a church in Allegan County. 13 on your side's Micah Cho joins us in the newsroom. Micah, you listened to the full 16 minutes. What did, what did they say? That's right, Josh. Although any names mentioned in the call were redacted from our Freedom of Information Act request, we heard Ortiz Vite admit that he committed a murder. Hello, I'm at a church right here on Blue Star Highway. I'm calling because I want to turn myself in for a murder that I committed two nights ago. A phone call between Brandon Ortiz Vite and an Allegan County 911 dispatcher gives a glimpse of what was going through the head of the alleged murderer of 25 year old Ruby Garcia before confessing to police, telling them that he committed murder according to his arrest affidavit. He told the dispatcher, I know what I did was wrong and Mm -hmm. I just, I'll do the time. I just don't want to die in time. Ortiz Vite was found at Ganji's United Methodist Church in Fenville two days after Garcia's body was found on US 131 in Grand Rapids. He told the dispatcher that he had been on the run in the woods ever since. He also admitted to having a 9mm handgun on him, telling her that he would leave the gun at the church's mailbox. Okay, I'm standing by the tree and the gun is by the mailbox. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker said last month Garcia and Ortiz Vite were in a relationship, adding that her death was a case of domestic violence. This is another case of a domestic violence homicide that we've seen, quite frankly, far too often. Right now, Ortiz Vite, who is in the country illegally, is facing murder and gun-related charges. During his phone call, he also told the dispatcher that he's scared for his life. They want me, all of them want me dead. I don't want to die in jail, you know? Mm-hmm. I know that I committed a murder, but I'd rather serve the time. Garcia's family and advocates say they want the 25-year-old's death to be more focused on the issue of domestic violence than anything else. Josh.